Once again, a wonderful introduction, Rick. Thank you very much. Tonight, we have a very special guest for you. Uh, his name is Juan de Jesus de Gomez Gonzalez. Uh, sort of, what we've, what we've understand, or research has found out about, about Juan, is that he is becoming quickly and very rapidly moving up to the, the Latin and South American charts and rising to become the perhaps Elvis Presley of South America. Juan, welcome to the show. I play now? Oh, uh, no, one <laughs> second, please. Uh, tell us a little, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Juan Cosales. Very good, it's wonderful. Um, or how, is, do you see a major contrast? You played a few shows here in the States, and do you, uh, do you notice a, a real major contrast in the audience response to your music? I like the, the girls. You like the girls? The girls the girls enjoy your music, though. My name is Juan Gonzalez. Very good, Juan. Excuse me one second. Um, does he speak English? Uh, we're getting ready to say goodbye to Juan Gonzalez, that amazing new Latin artist who's up here making his bones in the United States. Um, Juan's going to be playing in Porterville soon. He's like to say goodbye. Say goodbye to everybody, Juan. Juan Gonzalez. Very good. Juan, we have something very special about Juan that all you ladies might want to get out and uh, take a look at. Uh, something that uh, is probably why he's been so successful in Latin America, so we discovered. <laughs> Rat, new next door. Tonight, we've got a special blowout sale going on until midnight. A guitar, six string, electronic hookup. I don't know what kind of it is, man, it's cheap. Also, a Congo drum coming out of the road again. But man, those Latin people put the shit out of them. That's right, this is our sale. At or below cost. Also, it's a great instrument. I see him playing it all the time. And it's at or below cost. That's right, rat, rat music. Be here till midnight. At or below cost. Everything. Also, one last thing. You get this. Absolutely free with any person. A thousand dollars or more. Rat, rat music. Be there at midnight. Lovely introduction. Thanks, Rick. Hi, and welcome to another show of What's Your Problem? I'm Dick Chanker. Tonight's our first guest is Bill. Thanks a lot, Shank. Thanks, Rick. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you, I really don't like to talk about this in public because it's really embarrassing and it causes people a little grief. I mean, it's bad news. You raise your dust. Because I don't... I figure the reason I come on your show, besides you paying me the, the five bucks, whatever, is, is the, uh, the fact that I might be able to help some other people with the same problem. Erase your dust. Well, Mr. Shanker, Mr. Sifshank, uh, my main problem, I think, is that I used to stay home from work all the time or call in, and rather than go to work, I'd be... Erase your dust. Stop, you know? And then I would just want to, uh, you know, like, want to see a little tip. I, I, is that I kind is, of split personality. Well, we'll we're going to go ahead and move the camera into me. I think Good. I'm pretty normal. We're going to go ahead and move into the next guest now. <laughs> next up, we've got a rock and roller, David Carey. Hi. I'm Ian of the You Get Credit Sperm Bank. And there are a lot of myths and bad stories about sperm banks. Well, here at the sperm bank, we use new and modern technologies. You see, we here at sperm bank believe that you can give your sperm specimen to another man. And if it doesn't, have, it doesn't quite work the first time, well, the second, third, and fourth tries are free. Hi, I'm Dick Shankar, and welcome back to What's Your Problem? Tonight, like I said, special guest, David Carey, with David Carey in the story. How you doing? I'm going to round of applause for David in the studio. Huh? It's probably showing. It's very nice. Welcome. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're everywhere. Shape. We're done just your performances, but you had followers. I hate people, people with, now. <laughs> you hate people? I don't know what happened. Is that your problem tonight, Dave? <laughs> hate people? Is that a problem? I can't help it, man. It just started. I, uh, You know, like, I, I got in front of these people, and they loved me, and I... You know, and, and then I just, I hate them. I don't know why. Um, I hate people. It's rock and roll, though, huh? Well. I read about worse things before. You know, but you know, I got this great change. idea. What's the idea? Well, talk about your idea. I got talk about Dave's idea. idea now. I got a great idea. I want to go to Houston. You got some great cigarette butts, you know, in the dress. You see me in the studio light for Dave here? <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> You okay? I hate them. I hate them. They throw things at me. Yeah, people are funny though that one, that one. Hey, can we stop that, please? 
David, it's okay. You're, 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 in, you're in good company tonight. You're with good people who care about you. We're He's not fucked, gonna, man. We're not going to mug you. Yeah, he'll never work in this town. Get this man off the set. I'll get this guy right off here. The set. I'm thinking about going to Houston. This makes me really happy in starting a country western band. It's a big transition from your well, style of rock. <laughs> We got this funny thing, techno. you know. It's kind of a transition between tech, tech. You know, we play pretty techno music now, and mm -hmm. and country music, and we want to call it techno cut. <laughs> with a lot of people. Well, I guess we can pretty much nail down Dave's problem. He's an asshole. I thought he was a wonderful guy. I just hate people. I can't help it. I, I just happen. I do. I love Dallas. Jr. is my hero. He hates people too. Well, maybe you can meet him when you're down there. Anyway, I think we should move into the next guest. Thanks for appearing Fuck tonight, you. David. We appreciate it very much. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Don't on? come and see me. Shit. Hello, and welcome back to What's Your Problem. We've got Susie McSherry here tonight. Um, it is an interesting and well-known fact that Susie is the first test tube baby. Isn't that interesting? She's finally grown up. Well, considering I was a test tube baby, so I was, I thought like, we just 12, yeah. Time. So I was 12 years old, they kept me in the tube, and uh, it was hard, you know? The tube child, the tube child. <laughs> you know, it was, well, tube. you know, it was really hard going out on a date and stuff, you know, and, you know, yeah. trying to celebrate my birthday and stuff. It, it's really awkward. So you, are you yeah. normal? I mean, um, I like to crawl into very small places, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know seven. why. I ever, think it might have something to do with being a test tube baby. I just like. How do you feel when you're on a. Well, when you're traveling and you're on a small plane, you know, it's like. I love it. It's a nice tube. I love it. Like, how's your sex life? Um. Yes, I have to admit, I love it. It's a nice tube. I love it. Like, I like the feeling. It's a pretty big scandal, and they really didn't say too much about it at the time. Do you have a boyfriend now? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Pretty much going to wrap it on with musically. It's a great We'd like to say one word good night. Come here, Dave. We gotta say good night to all the people out there. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Where's your friend go? Bye bye. Where's your friend go? Real quickly, because the cast of characters: David Carey, Susie McSherry, Jimmy, camera back, cameraman, lights man, sound, key grip, and director, production manager, studio agent, key head, key head, special effects instruments man, and Rick McKenzie back there. And I'm Pat.